What's good, y'all? I'm the Psychedelic Seal. Finally back playing Pokemon again. It has been... It's been legit like a month since I played this. And the last time I played it was actually off camera. Because you notice there on the bottom right that Watchog has been fully EV trained. I maxed him out in HP and special attack. So I'm hoping that's going to help him be our special attacker. Because I know that's what we wanted him to be. And I also did some time at the move reminder. So let's go ahead and look over our movesets because honestly, I don't even remember them at this point. So it looks like I kept everything for Diggersby. I think that was a good idea. We'll get Earthquake really soon, I think. So that's gonna go over Bulldoze. Strength is awesome. Double Kick has been really useful and Quick Attack is good for our priority. Looks like I kept everything there as well. Ah, here's where we first made the first change. We got Extreme Speed for Linoon, which is gonna be awesome. We always get to move force first with that. Then we'll keep in Surf for now, but we also get Seed Bomb, which is, I calculated it out. It is a little bit better than uh, Cut, even though Cut was always critical, was always a critical hit. So still to move from there. This one is obviously the one that I changed the most. We got Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, and we just have Grass Knot for now because I want to say we get Flamethrower in the next city, actually. So I'm probably going to replace Flamethrower or Grass Knot with Flamethrower. But this is just kind of the tentative plan for right now. And I did relearn Ice Fang on Raticate instead of just going with, I think we had Thunder Fang before. And it looks like everything on Furred is the same. I think I just went ahead and taught Sucker Punch. Uh, probably just to have a priority move, maybe get some chip damage off with Furret. So, I know last time we finished up, we don't want to go over there, last time we finished up in Ice Cavern, Frost Cavern. Ice Cavern is Zelda. I've been mixing them up. I've only really had time to play Ocarina of Time lately just because the IRL stuff is crazy, like I say almost every single time in every single stream. And we have the Wind Waker Rander tournament going on. I'll tell y'all all about that, what the in real life stuff is later. Right now, we gotta go ride a freaking mamba swine, dude. It was like a bit of a mental hurdle for me to actually jump back into Pokemon. It's it had been so freaking long, like honestly, probably over a month since I last recorded a session. Go and use a repel after this though. Probably had been about a month since I last recorded a session. And I just had such a hard time trying to get that momentum back with this series. And now that I'm actually here, it's just like, wait, why haven't I played this in a while? Go ahead and use a repel just to uh, kind of get through here a little bit quickly. Uh, do we even have repels? We don't. We don't have repels. Let's go back to... Okay, we will ride a mammoth swine more, but we got to go stave off those those nasty beasties. It's just been so long. And I know that like... My Pokemon series in the future are going to look very different from this. I think I was talking about that very briefly during my one year anniversary stream over here on YouTube, and which is crazy considering that my start on YouTube was with the Pokemon challenges. And I would like to, you know what, I kind of for like, I've almost to the point where I've forgotten how much of a pain in the ass those are to edit, and I'm almost ready to do another one again. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I do have them. I'm just blind as a bat. Let's get more. If you have any ideas for those Pokemon challenges, I'm very down. Like, I want to do another team challenge like this in a series format, but I do think that it's going to be looking very much different. I think it's going to be making better content along the way. But for one of those single Pokemon challenges, kind of getting the itch to do one again. I just bought like a whole bunch of like Synthwave off Bandcamp. So like, just thinking like, I got my amp, I got my really nice headphones, just download the Flax, listen to some Synthwave, chill out, and then just kind of vibe out playing a Pokemon game. That's a good time, dude. And that's why, like, I feel almost ashamed that it's been so long since I've played a Pokemon game. This is, like, this is my franchise, dude. Like, this is, only, this is the main game. This and Fire Emblem, which I am going to do a Fire Emblem. Well, I've never been over here, I think. I am definitely going to be doing a Fire Emblem series for the channel. If I ever get a Switch, that'll help. But um, I know that there's a randomizer out there too, so might be looking for that. Anywho, it's just like so weird that it's been so long. And I think I was even explaining like last session that Pokemon has always been one of those games where you could pick up for like, you know, a couple hours every month. Like it's not really one that you have to play very often per se. 
But now that I'm in that position, I really feel just like, wow, no, I want to play this more. Like, I guess having, having a little bit of time off is always good. What's over here? Ah, oh, it's a sky battle. We don't have, all of our rodents are stuck on the ground, unfortunately. We still don't have our ferret dragon. Such a shame. But yeah, Pokemon is just one of those games. Like, it's always going to be one of those chill games to me. Like, because it's not like uh, like Zelda or, you know, with me doing the Wind Waker Rando so much where you really have to be on one. There's a lot of precise inputs you have to do and all of that stuff. I went back for the Max Repels and I never even used one. That's all good. It's all good, baby. But yeah, this is just like I'm using my SN30 Pro controller for the first time in a while. And it's just like... It's nice, man. It's really nice. I'm I'm digging it a lot. If you, if you can't tell, I'm digging it right now. Plus, we get this epic-ass drop backdrop music as you're going through a frozen tundra, going through frozen mazes at that. What do we get here? We get a calcium. Gonna grow big and strong, maybe from that uh, moo moo milk. You know what? While we're here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put watch because I haven't battled with this team at all. So I'm going to put Watchhog up at the front of the party and see kind of uh, what our new improvements look like. I'm actually very curious. I hadn't even checked his stats since I've super trained him. And it's looking like he has 126. So he actually does have more special attack than attack. It took full EV training to do it, but he does. So that's kind of good. He's kind of on par with... Honestly... Well, Diggers B has huge power, so that negates that. He's on pace with Furret, and like Furret, Furret's beefy, so that definitely helps with Fur Code. But Furret's been able to do some pretty clutch stuff with us. Plus, Watchhog goes ahead and gets that analytic boost, so could be good. Could be good. He is a little bit frail, but thinking that maybe if we do one of those choice items or. Uh, something like that on him that could give him a little bit of extra punch that he needs and maybe we won't have to rely on setting up a nasty plot or something like that that being said i do know that a lot of the elite four battles i think are double or triple battles so that's something we might be able to uh kind of employ using watchhog maybe i mean not watchhog for it just because we can maybe like do like a follow me or a helping hand or whatever that what's it called move is um the one where it forces the opposing pokemon to attack them maybe we could do something like that and then uh kind of go from there maybe all right so we had our fun on little mammoth swine road right here see you later buddy love you. love you dearly i will be using you in a run very soon good sir you're one of my favorite pokemon you're my favorite gen 4 pokemon you feel me doc you feel me goodbye you feel me, swine? Hollow clip received. Oh, it's been a while since I've done the voices, too. Who's it gonna be? Callum. Seal. This time, I challenge you to a battle in front of Anastar City's gym. You better be ready. Well, let's... Let's hope we're darn tootin' ready. Because, uh... Yeah, we're probably gonna be under... under what's down here? Uh, it doesn't really look like anything. Because, you see... The level cap for the next gym is 65. So I'm really thinking that we might be kind of under leveled for this. I felt like that worked in the fairy gym just because of the fairy type, but I'm not really sure if it's gonna work against psychic types. So I mean, I thought I heard a little bit of bass in that song for half a second. What do you give me? You are the memory girl, sure. I want to know, there's all of our love discs and the uh, Doduo I caught. Doduo looks so good without them outlines. Oh, Doduo looks good. Also a sharp beak. I didn't notice that. That could be useful. Uh, give me, give me the deep, dark secrets of our simple little beaver. Bipuro saw Seal using revives. The Pokemon definitely remembers that. It got lighthearted. That's... Fuck, weird. Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go explore. Oh! Time to get some fresh new duds. Hell yeah, dude. I do want to use the fitting room. Thank you and please. Oh, we can get a felt hat. Ooh. Dude, do we just go straight pink purple? I think we do, actually. Let's go and put that on. Digging it. Oh, we can get a camisole? A ruffled one at that? A glitzy scarf top? Yo, I'm hype. Are you hype? 
Okay, what does the camisole look like? That's some serious mom energy right there with the pants. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I like our old one, honestly. Yeah, the, the ruffle top is just very, like, <laughs> it's very mom. I'm not sure if I like that. We can do a scallop skirt, jean shorts. What the skinny jeans look like? Very, the skinny jeans just evoke that mom energy. Well, what if we do the skirt with the camisole? I kind of mess with that. It kind of looks like it's all like, it's all just looks like a dress. We can get a sparkly bolero dress and a high-waisted outfit that we already have that. What's a sparkly bolero dress? I'm not feeling that actually. You haven't had a Pokemon upload in almost a month. Are you excited that this is the one that you're seeing? I mean, do we just go, do we just commit to the pink? Uh, no, I, I don't really like that. We'll go back to the black. We'll have some contrast. I think some contrast is good. We can get some pink Mary Jane, some riding boots. We're in the purple Mary Janes. Let's, does black work? I think the black kind of works. Oh, an aqua? I think aqua's gonna go super well. Yeah, I'm here for it. Ooh, yeah, and we'll, we'll throw in a pink flower? I like that. Okay, we're here for it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Why not? We're just having fun here, honestly. It's been a, you know what? doesn't look great it doesn't look great but it doesn't look that bad i think it looks good on like the overworld model uh sure why not we'll freshen her up we'll freshen up a little bit we will come again probably because i'm probably gonna need to change i'll probably get sick of this i do like the hat a lot though oh we can get hidden power that's slightly useful um i'm sure i could figure out oh yeah what type um, you know what? Hidden power, I think, is a f special move. So what can Watchhog learn? Moves type would be ice. Wait, is hidden power special attacking? It is special attacking. So that means we could have a 60 base power ice attack on Watchhog. And I don't think Watchhog can learn ice beam. I remember being bummed about that. So, oh, does it... Does it take stab because it's normal? I'm not, I'd have to do some research about that, but if it does take stab, that means we have a 90 power ice type move. Special attacking one at that, which is extremely useful. I'll do some more research. Okay, so we know that thinking about it, Callum is going to lead with his Meow stick. So we should definitely lead, I'm just gonna say with Raticate. Would Raticate be the best one though? Cause like, do we have, I'm definitely worried about um, about the uh, chest nod because that's the thing. Raticate might have Crunch. Well, okay, we know Crunch can take care of Meow Stick, no problem. We could throw in Furret there and Coil and Baton Pass. Well, if nothing else, we should be able to go in with Linoon and maybe do some decent damage. Or Bibarel. We just won't have a super effective move against it, so I still think we're going to lead with Raticate, actually, now that we know that we're going to have to battle Callum. Plus, Raticate's a higher level, so hopefully that kind of helps for what it's worth. Let's we'll keep checking out some of these houses before we go ahead and go battle that. That'll be the big penultimate part of the episode. Let's see what's at this little cafe real quick. Uh, nah, I ain't paying you nothing. <laughs> you don't take my damn money. I remember thinking this place was, yeah, that's freaking cool looking. Because giant Pokeball, I love low poly art though. I'm a sucker for low poly art. So like this just hits right with me. I'm actually probably gonna be changing, uh, not in this series, but like the background on most of my videos since nothing's ever 16 by nine because I don't play games made before the year 2015. But probably gonna be doing something akin to that low poly. I love low poly. It just, it just hits right, man. It just hits right. Okay, let's go ahead and battle a rival. Seal. I can't keep losing to someone who just started the journey at the same time as me. Let's b, -b battle. Bring it, Callum. I have no fear. Oh, he's got a full team of six. I don't know what he's got, actually. I'm going in this blind. I forgot to pull up all the documentation. <laughs> Alrighty, we knew he was gonna lead with the Meowstic. It's hailing, which doesn't really affect either one of us that much. Well, 
it does affect both of us, but equally. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into a crunch. It uses Calm Mind. That's okay for us. It's a little bit concerning that it outspeeds, though. What level is it? 60. Okay, so we are at a distinct level disadvantage. Defense fell, and it's going to have a Citrus Berry. Okay, we're both buffeted by the hail. I think we should be able to survive, even if it's plus one, I think we should be able to survive one Psychic. I really hope. We're gonna see. And we barely, good Lord. So we're gonna be down from, oh, that's a bummer. We're gonna be down from the hail. We're going to assume that he's going to send in Chestnut. For that reason, I'm gonna go into Furret. For it's going to be able to hopefully take some hits and he's going to go into Vaporeon instead. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to start building up, I think, three coils and then I'm going to Baton Pass into Aqua Ring. What does Aqua Ring do? Surround himself with a Veil of Wars. Then I'm assuming that means no status effects, which is fine by me. And it's got leftovers. So I'm thinking I'm going to do two coils and then go into Line that way we can go ahead and use a super effective seed bomb against it. Acid armor is going to sharply raise defense though. We also have Thunderbolt. We also have Thunderbolt. So that being said, since we know that we're not really gonna be getting a lot of more use out of coil, that it really is just a defense and accuracy boost for Watchhawk, we're still gonna use Baton Pass. And we are going to go into Watchhog, hopefully hit this thing real hard with a Thunderbolt, since we know that the Acid Armor is going to really dampen what Lineune is going to do. It's going to use Scald, which is going to hurt. Okay, we should be able to survive two. Ooh. As long as we don't get critical hit. Might have been a bad move switching right there. Okay, but straight into... Uh, I think Thunderbolt is going to be a little bit more useful. Thunderbolt. What can this do? Oh, that's... Very disappointing. And we're burned for good measure. We're out of here. Well, that's not good at all. I'm still going to go into... That's a bummer. I'm still going to go into Line Noon now. Hopefully... What in the world? Aqua Ring. Oh, oh, oh. This thing is trying to stall me out. In that case, yeah, Lie Noon, I'm just gonna try to hit it as hard as I can with Grass Knot, or um, Seed Bomb. Hopefully we can get maybe a crit. Wow, that does hardly a thing. It Baton Passes, that means it's still at plus two defense into Absol. We do have a fighting type move if we wanted to use that. I don't think that's the move though. Oh my God. The Stolly team. Uh, let's go straight into, let's see what an extreme speed does. That way we know we get some good damage off. Okay, that was a critical hit. Of course it has a fighting type move. Why wouldn't it have a fighting type move? I mean, come on, dude, it has a fighting type move. Good freaking God, man. Why does everything have a fighting type move still? Okay, um, we're in a bad place. Not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna go Diggersby and just get this thing out with a quick attack right away. Because right now we're down three, well, we're gonna be down three, two right here. This was the one that I was worried about. I have like nothing against this thing. Um, Yeah, I think this might be GG's very early. Like I'm gonna try to switch into Furret um, and gonna try to switch into Furret Maybe build up a couple coils and then switch into Bibarel, because that's really going to be our only good option. And then we're both going to get buffeted by... Okay, at least he got some recoil damage. We're going to try to do one coil. That should be able to increase our livability for at least this turn, and then we can at least switch into... Of course you have Drain Punch, too. Okay, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Um, I mean, fur it's pretty much out after this turn, so I have to switch. Go Baton Pass, and then we're going to go into, what's it called? It's probably going to use Drain Punch, but maybe, just maybe, we can hit it 
with a, I mean, it is at plus four. Maybe a headbutt can take it out. Okay, that's as good as we could have hoped. My God, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, I think we, I, we're honestly just un under leveled. We, we ran into this way too quickly. <sighs> headbutt, that's our best move. And nowhere near enough. And it's holding Rocky Helmet. Well, okie dokie. So this session was cut a little bit short, I suppose. Honestly, just in preparation for the gym itself, I think I need to get everyone up to level 60. I, I don't really see another way around it. It's a bummer, because I was hoping to get at least a couple battles in. But you know what? We just we just chilled out for a little bit. That's all good. I don't mind. Quick Attack did a lot of damage, actually. Wood Hammer is going to obviously hurt. It's because it's super effective. I think Wood Hammer... Is Wood Hammer one of those weird moves? It's like a dual type. Okay, his Chestnut is out of the way. So that's cool. So we lost 5-3, or 0-3 rather. And I definitely could have done this a couple things differently. Um, it was a real bummer that... Just return. Okay, that's good to know that Fur outspeeds Vaporeon and does actually a lot of damage. But having Vaporeon get that acid armor up and Vaporeon is also just super bulky. So I should have I should have thought a little bit more that that was going to be a uh, a bit of a barrier, especially for Watchog. That does do me a slight concern, though, that Watchog was barely able to do a third to Vaporeon. I feel like Watchog is going to be very, very situational and that um, they will definitely need some type of some some type of uh, like stat boosting item. Well, that being said, I think we kind of did everything that we could do at this moment. We can head south for a little bit because that's probably where I'm going to end up training. Oh, wow. We got spit all the way back here. Oh, that's some BS. I guess it was technically the last Pokemart, Poke Center I used. A little bit more premature than I would have liked, but I do think I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. We got our fancy new duds. What else could we want? So I'm going to go train all of our precious little rodents up to level 59 or 60. And then from there, I think we'll be in a very good position to probably definitely take out Callum and combine that with all of the different gym trainers. I think we'll be able to go ahead and take out the psychic trainer too. As long as we're within two to three levels, we should be able to get there at that point. Anyways, I want to thank y'all for tuning in and spending your free time with me and also being very patient because I know this series has been a little infrequent lately. I appreciate the support and of course appreciate you choosing to spend your free time with me. That's all I got for today and I will see you QTs next time. Buh bye bye